Now in this video we want to look at another absolute value function. We see that quite a few things have been done to this. We see we have something on the inside which is going to shift us horizontally. We have the plus 5 on the end which means we have a vertical shift. And we also have a coefficient here. This negative is going to turn our V shape of the absolute value upside down and the three halves is going to help us with the slope to tell us how steep our line is. Now let's just go ahead and write down all the information that we have. The first thing that we know here is that what I see on the inside I do the opposite of that. So it looks like a negative one but the opposite of that is a plus one so that means I'm going to go to the right one unit. The five at the end I do exactly what I see here and this means I'm going to go up five units. And then we have to figure out what we're going to do with that coefficient in the front. The negative here means I'm going to go upside down so I know that my shape is going to be opening down. And the three halves here gives me some kind of I some kind of idea about how steep it's going to be. It's larger than one, so it should be a little bit steeper than the normal absolute value guy, like the one that we graphed in our last video. Right here. This is a nice slope of one, it's got a nice 45 degree angle to it. So the three halves means it's going to be a little bit steeper than that. So let's see what happens with that one. The first thing we want to do is we want to plot our vertex. Remember that our vertex would normally start here at the origin. But according to what I have here, it says I need to go to the right one unit and then go up five units. So my vertex is actually going to be here. Remember the negative says you're going to open down. And we just have to figure out how steep that is. And we get to use the three halves here as a slope. Now you can only use this as a slope for the absolute value function because it's made up of straight pieces. This is the only function where we can really do that. So using the slope of negative 3 from this point I'm going to go down 3 and over 2. Down 3 and over 2 and I'm just going to keep on going till I run out of room. Now in the other video we talked about having this axis of symmetry. So what I have on one side of this guy, I'm going to mirror that on the other side. So this point will be reflected over here, this one will be over here, and so on. Our vertex here is positive 1, positive 5, and now we just need to draw our absolute value function. Now absolute value functions are quite nice because you can use a straight edge to get these get these two different sides of the absolute value. But sadly not every nonlinear function is as nice as this. And that's what we're going to look at next. So the negative tells us we're opening upside down. The three halves gives me that slope, that rise of a run of 3 over 2. I have moved to the right one unit and up 5 from my vertex. 